Hey everyone, so this tutorial is to show you the best way to install Minecraft mods like uh, Minimap, which is what we will be testing to show you that it works. Uh, the program we're using is called MC Patcher and it makes it way easier to install mods than going in there and dragging files back and forth between the uh, Java files and all that. So anyways, open up your web browser, type in MC Patcher in Google and click that first link. Scroll down a little bit. And uh, this is for Windows, but the program is also on Mac and stuff. But I'm not going to do a tutorial about that. You should be able to figure out just by following this, I believe. So there's a direct link right there. Download MC Patcher. And then you want to download Mod Loader. Type Mod Loader in. Click the first link. Scroll down, down. And right here is a direct link for Mod Loader. 1.3.2 is the version we're doing right now. Uh, in the future, it might be a different version, but this process will still be the same. You just got to make sure that everything matches up in version. Okay, so you need Mod Loader. It's the first mod you're actually going to load. Uh -huh, that's funny, I like the name. But uh, it helps other mods run, and uh, it is a mod itself, though, so that's why we're using the MC Patcher to install it. So go to where your downloads are. Uh, I also downloaded the Raise, Raise mini map. You can check that out if you want. Uh, that's what we're going to do at the end, just to show you that it works. So, just do that now. Raise minimap. First link. Scroll down somewhere. Here you go. There's the top link for the latest version. So, get that as well. Okay. Run MC Patcher. It'll be analyzing your Minecraft. And it'll look like this. It automatically checks HD textures and HD fonts and stuff like that. Uh, this helps if you have a um, texture pack installed and it's HD. It just does stuff that you can't do normally unless you run this. So you could hit patch now and it'll apply those if you just want to you know, take it easy, but you don't have to. Uh, hit the plus sign. Go to where your downloads were. Click on mod loader. Hit open. It will show you that it's just copying everything over. So hit OK. Now you'll see it right here with the checkbox. Uh, go ahead and hit patch there. It'll copy that stuff in. And uh, then hit plus again. Now, this we're going to install an actual mod that you can see. You know, mod loader is just in the background. It runs certain things. Uh, we did that so that you will be able to install lots of mods with no problems. Uh, although there are some mods that don't need it to run. You don't need to know all that. Anyways, just install mod loader. Now, we're going to do the mini map. So go to that. Hit open. Uh, one thing to pay attention to. First time I did this, it had uh, one of these folders selected. You need to make sure the top folder is selected so that it actually copies all the files. Otherwise, it will only copy like the textures or this stuff. It won't. It needs everything. So click that top one when you're doing mods, and uh, hit OK. It'll show you all this stuff, and hit OK again. Now that's in there, and hit patch. And that's all there is to it. You can click test Minecraft, and it'll run Minecraft for you. Uh, yeah, there's other stuff you can do in here, like um, you can make profiles with a bunch of different mods. So if you're on like a public server here or this server and they allow different things, you can have different profiles set up to just repatch Minecraft really easy and uh, you'd be you know good to go for whatever you're doing. But uh, let's hit test Minecraft and run it. it. logs you right in. That's kind of handy. Uh, I'll make a new world here. Put that on creative. <laughs> Okay, brand new world started me in a pretty little field of flowers, and you can see over there on the right, as soon as E for inventory goes away, that uh, there's a mini map. You hit M to pull up the menu, and uh, you can enable and disable it. Different, uh, you know, map surface biome cave. Uh, death points. Let's see, what do I usually do with it? I think I, <clears throat> excuse me, I usually go to uh, surface map options. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's here somewhere. Ah, as you can see, there's a lot of options to it. You can config the keys um, somewhere in here. There we go. Mini map options. I like the run the round one. Just looks better to me. And you can change it like there. You can move it around. Uh, change the scale. All that good stuff. Now you can get rid of the M for menu key. Um little text right there I guess you would say I don't know why that's even on there but yeah and you can make waypoints good stuff good little mod 
But uh, main focus was uh, how to install them, and that is with MC Patcher. Really easy to do, and so I hope you have good success with that. Please like and favorite if this helped you out. It helps the video rank for me. And uh, again, I'm making these tutorials to get people into my channel and see all my stuff. Tutorials are kind of the backbone, but I am playing other games and doing stuff like that. Giveaways sometimes, so look for that. Uh, at the time that I made this, I'm giving away Skyrim for Xbox and PlayStation and PC, so you should go check that out. I'll put an annotation right here. And check out all these other annotations. Uh, if you're not on a PC, you won't see them probably, but uh, I'll put a bunch of annotations here for my other tutorials and maybe a couple gameplays like Daisy and um, Skyrim right here. So, thanks again for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe and comment. Let me know how it worked for you or if you had any problems, and I will try to help you out. And if I don't, someone else probably will. Okay, bye!